So first of all, apologies, this isn't a, sort of the longer video breakdown of the, sort of the transfer update from X, um, but I wanted to do a video uh, this evening just regarding what's going on because we've got some sort of quite big news actually that's happening. So basically this is for the people that have been saying, and there's been quite a few commenting on the videos um, in regards to the right back situation, Carl Walker-Peters versus Juan Basaka, and I think it's sort of overwhelming to be honest in terms of the fan base and wanting Juan Basaka to be the, the preferred choice which now that actually does seem to be the case it feels now that West Ham are going to sort of push ahead now with Juan Basaka um, and I think there's actually now starting to we're starting to get a bit of confidence that something could happen there um, the latest update from X basically said that in regards to Juan Basaka that it was the the wages were going to be a bit of an issue so basically it's more than 90 grand a week this, this has come from the sort of top person at the club basically saying that the wages were a little bit of an issue um but regardless of that it does seem like something's going to happen there uh, the player's very keen on the move uh, wants to come back to london of course he was at crystal palace uh, he's been at manchester now, now for a few years um and look he's, he's a great player we know that he's a very, very talented lad and um he, he's just one of those players you feel like just needs to get his career back on track needs to be playing regularly um and uh, i think you know a new lease of life and so it does seem West Ham basically would have been happy with either. Carl Walker Peters was obviously a sort of the, the preferred choice, I think, for a while because obviously we were in discussions with Southampton uh, regarding the down sale. Now you remember that there was a lot of talk of that being a swap deal. Uh, or you know that it might be kept separate, but would be um, uh, sort of counterbalanced in terms of the the value for both players in the, in and in taken into account when doing the deal. Um, but as we know now, Downs has gone to Southampton and West Ham are on um, haven't got Carl Walker Peters. There's a reason for that. Um, I think that's now becoming quite clear because West Ham actually want to push ahead with the Wan Bissaka deal. I think that's the more preferred option. So we are expecting basically the update from X we just put on the website. You'll see. So I, I, I sort of stress this quite a fair bit actually that X is very careful. Of what he says he's very careful of his words very careful as well in terms of where it gets published etc i do we promote it quite big on the channel do we put it quite big on the website or do we keep it quite low-key so for him to come out and sort of suggest that something's going to happen there likely we're, like, we're expecting some movement one basaka suggests that's probably likely now the case so there's a fair bit of confidence now certainly my end that i think that one basaka is now our number one target for that position and it looks like something could be happening there so i think that is now one uh to certainly be keeping an eye on um a couple other bits as well. Reese Nelson um, has now informed Arsenal that he wants to join West Ham. Um, this is now, I think, his preferred destination. Crystal Palace are also in for him, though. I, I, wanted to, um, I see him as the sort of replacement for um, Elise. Of course, he's, he's joined uh, Bayern Munich. Um, but it's understood now Reese Nelson wants to move to West Ham. West Ham want to move ahead with a deal. I think that there could be something as well. I think there's a bit of confidence that something's going to happen there with Reese Nelson. So that's, that's two big bits of news, really. One beside on Reese Nelson. I think, that, you know, that's, that's, that's big names of players coming to West Ham at the moment. But uh, we'll, we'll keep tabs and see. You know, things can change. So there's not necessarily saying it's all done. It's 100% going to happen. But there's now confidence definitely growing on those two deals. Um, to, De to Debo... Um, there's been a bit of a movement there. So it's been a lot in the press today, a hell of a lot of noise in regards to um, uh, the Nice defender. West Ham, of course, have been very keen on him. As we've reported, West Ham have always sort of had this stance that we weren't going to go ahead with any deal for Tadebo unless we sold um, or had sort of a confidence that we were going to sell either uh, Kurt Zuma or uh, Naifa Gerd. Naifa Gerd's the most likely to go. Um, he has got some interest in Marseille, are quite keen, but there's nothing concrete at the moment. Um, but the way we've, what we understand it to be at the moment, West Ham have struck a deal with Nice. Um, it's understood to be a loan with an obligation to buy. Um, it might be an obligation or an option. I need to just get that confirmed, but I think it's an obligation um, and it's been agreed with Nice. Now, the player himself wants to go to Juventus. He's, that's the club he wants to go to. He wants Champions League football. Football. He's obviously been speaking to Juventus. That's where his heart's set at the moment. So at the moment, a deal's been agreed. Um, I, I, he's not written off going to West Ham, but Juventus is his preferred choice. It's understandable. I mean, they've got Champions League football, massive club, of course. Um, and he's, that's kind of what he's waiting on. Now, as we understand it, Juventus have got financial issues at the moment. They're going to need to sell players to be bringing him in. It's also the fact they're being linked with other defenders and they're looking to push ahead. So it's whether they're going to be able to do that deal or not. Um, obviously, it's a lot of money. Bearing in mind... Although it's Juventus, you know, huge football club, of course. When you're talking about finances now, um, you know, the, the, uh, Serie A compared to the Premier League is, is, is huge in terms of the golf, in terms of finances. West Ham have got a lot of financial muscle um, and 
it's going to be interesting now to see how this plays out because, as I say, player wants to move to Juventus, but it's, it's un, it's, we're unsure whether they can actually afford him, whether they're going to be able to cough up the money to do it. So it's not written off, although there's some accounts sort of suggesting it's definitely not going to happen um, and, it's, and it's unlikely. I think it's still a little bit unlikely at this stage because, um, obviously... If that's his preference and they, that's really what they want to do, that somehow usually they tend to find a way you find in these scenarios of getting the deal done. Um, but that's not to say it won't happen. As I say, the deal has been accepted between Nice and West Ham. So we are able to now effectively talk to the player. Um, but of course, if he, he and his agent are saying, well, look, this is not the move we want at the moment. We're actually holding out for another club. It's down to West Ham whether they're going to hold out and, and see how that plays out. So um, it's... It's, it's difficult to call. Difficult to call at the moment. It's still a little bit early on. Um, it's interesting the fact we've had the deal accepted. I think that's that's a, an interesting part. It's now, of course, down to the club to try and sway the player. And I think they're going to try and do that. Um, the update we got, though, from the hierarchy at West Ham was effectively like we'd, we were, we'd given up. That, that, that we'd accepted the fact we weren't going to get the player. We were gutted because we've been working on it for over the, you know, in, in, apparently quite intensively for the last week or so. Uh, and now it's now effectively like it, they, they're declaring it's over. But you get the, the, the later update from X um, and that's not actually quite the case. It does seem West Ham of um, there, there's still a chance, still a chance, a slim one. I'd say it's a slim one, but there is a chance that Tadebo could be coming to West Ham. But let's wait and see. Obviously, it all depends on whether Juventus can cough up the money to get the player. Um, so yeah, there we go. Reese Nelson um, from Arsenal's looking likely. The player wants to move. West Ham want him. Um, it's, I think it's just a case now of getting a deal agreed with Arsenal and getting that over the line. Uh, and obviously, the big news is now Wan Bissaka is now emerging as our front runner now for a, the right back position, and it's looking like something's going to happen very soon. So it's one to keep an eye on. So We'll give a proper update um, tomorrow. Um, I might do another video in the morning um, because things are moving quite rapidly at the moment. So it's kind of just sort of depends on that. But yeah, until then, let's wait and see. Come on, your irons.